What can you tell us about the meeting? As I understand it, it was you, uh, Matt Gates. Uh, I think Louis Gohmert was there, Jim Jordan. What's the plan? What was discussed? Well, we had a pretty good uh, crew there, even more than you named. I'll let them come out on their own and, and, and uh, say who, who was there. But I will tell you this. We, we discussed process. That's one of the key things here because in 2017, when Maxine Waters tried to uh, prevent uh, Trump electors from being seated, she didn't do it right. But in 2005, when you actually had a contest, um, we, we saw how it was done and what was approved by the uh, then sitting vice president and the way it pr worked. And so you have to understand the process. You have to also review the, the election issues like you just iterated about Pennsylvania. You have to know what's going on in Arizona and Georgia and Nevada and Wisconsin and Michigan. And, and uh, you need to find out what, what, what's going on and make sure you understand that. And I think that was the discussion in, at a high level. Congressman, I'm no expert on the rules, but as I read them today, in order to even entertain a debate on a challenge, you've got to have somebody on the other side of the Capitol building, a United States senator who will uh, consent and join in and give approval. Do you have such a senator? We think that we probably do. Um, we are going to let them make their own announcement publicly. But yes, we think that we're going to actually be able to contest this, uh, as you say, with uh, at least one objection from the House. And we'll have, we'll have dozens of, object of objectors in the House and then at least one in the Senate. And we think we'll have more than that. And that will trigger the debate, uh, the debate process. And then after the debate concludes, what next? There's a vote, right? That's exactly right. So what happens, you're sitting in a joint session, you have the objections from uh, House members, Senate. you split back to your, your respective chambers, you have their two hours maximum of debate, then you have a vote, and uh, that vote is, is uh, in many ways determinative of where, whether those electors get seated or not. Well, with Democrats controlling the House, it's not going to succeed, is it? Well, you know, you never know, Greg, and that's why you got to you got to run through the tape. We we we've got to push through that, and uh, and we'll we'll wait and see what happens on January sixth. Yeah, I I would imagine President Trump was in on this meeting today and is on board. We had the pleasure of his company for a bit. That's correct. <laughs> Any more details about what his attitude was? You know, President Trump is he's he's a fighter. He he knows that the country is actually at stake. He, like so many of us, believed that this election was stolen and he wants to fight through it. There are literally 70 million people plus who think this was a stolen election. And uh, he, President Trump wants to preserve this nation and knows in order to do so, we have to preserve the institutions, the most important up front being the voting institution. So he's all in, I believe, and, uh, and he's a fighter through and through.